Hi guys, happy freedom month in lockdown. Please remember to wash your hands, stay home, and if not, maintain social distancing to stay safe. I hope you watched, enjoyed, and answered all the questions in the previous video because guess what? We have some more questions to answer and money introspection to do in this video. I am Noreen Tahane and welcome to Money on Point. Saga, 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 saga. Well, since it's Freedom Month, I thought it'd be fitting we discuss financial freedom. How do we define financial freedom? A. Income that exceeds expenses. B. Being wealthy or rich. C. Time or choice freedom. Or my favorite, D. Being able to afford absolutely anything and everything you want whenever you want it. Well, we can define financial freedom however we want except D. Why? Because economically speaking, D is not possible. How? Let's look at the study of economics to answer this question. Economics is a study of using scarce resources that have many uses in order to satisfy unlimited wants and needs efficiently. Now, if that does not define your money situation right now, nothing more. Let's look at how this definition defines your money life right now. One, scarce resource. Well, guess your money. Your money is a scarce resource. You do not have unlimited of it. Two, things that have many uses. Well, you can use your money for many different things, meaning you can buy different things with it. And then three, things you want and need equals unlimited. You have unlimited things that you want and need. So it's all about making choices. How do we make choices with limited resources for unlimited wants and needs? Well, Financial freedom is something we have to define for ourselves because although there's a technical definition for it, it might look completely different to you than it does to someone else. Now I want you to think about your financial freedom picture. What does your financial freedom picture look like? In the previous video, I asked you to think about your money habits and your spending patterns. Now, let's tie that in with your picture of financial freedom. Now that you know what your financial freedom picture looks like, I have a very important question to ask you. Does the way you spend money align with your financial freedom dream? So, does your financial freedom dream look like this? But your spending habits actually look like this. And how do we change it? It's all about choices. You have to make deliberate choices with your money in order to attain financial freedom. Now, that means you have to develop strong financial decision-making skills because an optimal decision is made by weighing pros and cons and then basing your final choice on the best possible outcome for your dream. In the next video, we'll be talking about aligning your financial freedom dream with your spending. So in order to do that, I want you to prepare for it. Here's what I want you to think about. What changes or choices do you need to make with your money in order to get in alignment with your financial dream? Remember to stay home and stay safe. Thanks for watching.